Hey everybody, how you doing today? I have a special video for you today and uh, why it's special because there's good configuration for you if you're actually a very heavy gamer who cares about uh, thermals. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to the power. Uh, let me just show you here. First off, we're gonna go to the edit power or uh, edit plan setting, power setting. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go here and type power, in the power plan. Once you do that, you will get this screen over here. You're gonna change the advanced power setting and you're gonna set this on, this is on power saving and you're gonna set it on performance, high performance. Once you do it in high performance, you know the drill. You gotta go to the processor uh, power management. Let's zoom in a little bit. You gotta go to the processor power management and processor performance boost mode and disable these two as well, just you did as you did in the save uh, battery mode. Uh, so once you do that in a power setting, what does that mean? That means the computer is gonna work in high performance at the same time the turbo boost will be disabled, and that's gonna help the GPU to work as well. I mean the RTX 2060s to work as well. Uh, so I'm going to show you the dashboard here and what do we have actually by the way so this method works if you plug your cable or your charging cable so I'm going to do here I'm going to enable the cable because we have uh, silent mode and performance the turbo and the manual mode is going to be disabled unless you plug the cable so we're going to open the cable right now and you're gonna see these two options uh, be enabled. There you go. So it's now it's been enabled. Uh, once it's enabled now, you can actually mess around with this fan speed, uh, as well as tagging the power of the CPU to 3000. Cap it on 3000. You know, sometimes it goes up and down, and goes so, uh, you know, so much, uh, you know, so messed up. But in that case, just first, let me just try to fix this thing. Give me a second. Okay, so in that case here, you're gonna see it tagged at 3000. Uh, and this is what you want. You don't want it to go above 3000 and get messed up and actually get, get your temperature on 90s and 100. The ten, the you know the the temperature where it's really dangerous. So what I did in the setting just right now, I showed you how to do it. Once you do that, you plug your uh, cable, and you go to turbo. You either go to turbo, and you're gonna see the temperature goes up here. Fans kicking in, but it's still at uh, twenty-eight thousand, twenty-nine, thirty thousand something. But what you want to do here is to go to the manual. And once you go to the manual, you will see this setting here. So this is like, for, for example, let me show you these small dots. These dots actually represents how much uh, percentage your heat. For example, this, if it hits, like for example, let me show you this knot over here. So we have 96% fan speed once it reaches 30 degrees. So what do I mean by 30 degrees? Your CPU hits 30 degrees, you see it's above. 30 is, is the, around uh, 37 degrees. That means it runs at 69% of capability of the fan. Now, the power here, once it reach 49 degrees, still 37, once it hits 39 degrees, it's still gonna get you to the 69%, unless I'm actually going to pump it to 80%, for example. So once it hit 80%, Okay, so you have to actually know that once you increase it, it doesn't go down just like this. They all gonna be set up like uh, inwards or upwards. So once you do this, okay, so it's gonna hit 80% once it hits 40, 49 degrees. So how can you actually hit, make it hit 49 degrees? Let's just play a game and see if we actually can do something. No, that's, this is a Yuzo. Okay, forget about Yuzo. Let's try something heavy. Let's try PlayStation 3, probably 
Dante's Inferno. This is a very, very creepy game. Very, very creepy game, man. So now it hits 49 degrees. Check this out. Let's reduce the sound. 49. You can see the fan CPU is going up here. Once it hits, we got that number. And let's just try to see if we're actually going to go some do something. Let's start the game quickly. And let's check out 49. Yeah, 51. So by now, this game is awesome, really. So, check this out, guys. 52 degrees. So once it hits, it hits 80%. Once it hits 40, above 49. And you're going to see the fan kick in right now. So that's like a performance. Uh, uh, so I have to click apply. Actually, I should actually click apply. So apply this thing. So I click apply right now. It's going to be this warning thing. Yes. So check out the fan speed here. It's above. Check this out. 46,000. 51,000. 55,000. It's going to hit 80%. So now I get 100. 64,000. 67,000. 65,000. So it's going to hit that around that number. It's not going to go to the 100%. But if you want to kick it to 100%, you can crack it up here and you're going to hear the fan going crazy. Check this out. Check this out. Sixty-seven thousand. Wow, the fan is really going hard right now. So we don't want to hit that number. <laughs> just go back, and you can just make it slowly down right here, and click apply, and make it around back to sixty. Back to sixty. There you go. Notice the frequency is still capped at 3000, so you don't have any issues with uh, going crazy with the uh, fan. So you can just hit the maximum performance for the GPU and the CPU at 3000 while actually boosting the fan mode. Now, the benefit of this section or benefit of this method is that you should not use the speakers, you should use the headphones. So if you use headphones, you're not going to be bothered by the sound of the fans or any type of interruptions. So that's the point here, guys. Try to reduce it to the 70. Back to the... All right. So that's the point, guys. So you don't need to hit that number. But you want to drop this to the 50s. And to, to drop this to the 50s, all you have to do is crack it to 100 <laughs> fan speed. It's going to get around. You know, if you want to, let me give you the math right here. Let me give you the math. Let me show you how math works. 95%, 100. All of them 100. It's going to be so noisy. But I'm going to show you the math right now. So at 3,000... Frequency of CPU, and if you crack the fans 100% all the time, you're gonna get around. Uh, let me just so this is gonna drop like six degrees, probably 59, 58, sometimes le less, of course. And here you can see the GPU is okay, around 54. Should reach the same as 54, so the CPU should reach as uh, the C uh, the GPU. Here you can see. And the point here is to show you that it is actually possible to play the game at very nice cool mode without even sacrificing performance. And here you can see 64. Now it's demanding, you know. Dante's Inferno is a very, very demanding game. It's getting a little bit hot, of course, a little bit on the, on the top here.
I'll just wait for it a little bit. So we have other stuff open. We should just turn our, off our other stuff. To make it easier. So with time, with time, it's gonna get actually cooler. You need to give it like some time to make it cool because it started at 64 in the beginning. Um, no, just give me a second. Now, what happened if you actually turn off the the uh, electricity or the cable? It's going to turn off this mode. It's going to go back to performance and. Once you get to performance, you know the problem is not going to be so good, of course. Let's go back to performance. You're going to see this uh, temperature probably stay there or go up more. And still at 60, 60 FPS here. But if we go to the uh, see the temperature, 64. Now the power is going to draw back. So yeah, it's so around that time. So that's the temperature that you're gonna get around this area, which is okay. You know, it's not it's not that dangerous, but you should you should actually reach the 60, uh, 59, 58. Now this actually depends on the game, of course. It depends on the emulator. So if I actually open a Dolphin emulator and play with it, it's not gonna increase above uh, 55, probably. But the PlayStation 3 emulator is very demanding. So you're probably gonna get the 60s. You're gonna get the 60s, but you still you're not in the dangerous zone. The dangerous zone is like 75 above. So 75 above is a dangerous zone, especially for a small laptop just like this. If you're playing on the 60s, high, lower 60s, as you can see, probably gonna get even lower than that. And then you go to the uh, uh, 50s with the dolphin, so you don't have any problems. So I just want to show you the method here, which is really really nice. Uh, if you want to go crazy with the fans and crazy with the cooling at the same time you can actually use head, your headphones you have a good headphones to block the noise of the uh, fans over here so yeah that's it guys I just want to show you this quickly if you have any questions uh, please hit me in the comment section below and uh, take care everybody oh by the way guys if you're interested in a tool that actually can help you if you have a website to design a website very easily it's just a drag and drop tool so go to the description below check out the link there is a, a discount 50 percent for the first purchase so uh, just stop in the, the uh, code that as you can see in the uh, description below and you get 15 percent you can try this for 14 days for free so go ahead guys uh, help support the channel or probably if you are interested in making using this tool check it out you might like it and uh, yeah take care everybody see you later